Now to our other top story of the night. People still left in the dark from this week's storms as the Bay Area braces for another round of rain. And PGD crews are working to restore power and try to minimize outages across the region. KTV's Janet Katsuyama has more tonight on how people are dealing with those outages. It was another night of lights out for Sheikha Hamilton and her family in Foster City. No power, no internet, nothing. She says their power went out about 10 Friday morning, and it was more than just an inconvenience. My mom is on 24-7 oxygen. Hamilton says she's worried about her mother. She had to order backup oxygen tanks after nearly running out of oxygen during the last power outage, New Year's Eve. After New Year's Eve, when I heard about the big storm coming, I ordered to fresh tanks because uh, we depleted the ones we had from the power outages before. By evening, more than 800 customers in Foster City were still without power, some turning to generators. Refrigerator, freezer, yeah. uh, lights. Uh -huh. This resident ran a power cord through the pet dog's door. The generator, thanks to a friend who came to the rescue. I guess it was pretty close to seven hours, probably. Seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we said that uh, Rick been off that long, so we better hook him up <laughs> before you get nervous. <laughs> Throughout the Bay Area, public works crews were busy. It didn't really become an issue until two hours later because then our lift stations start to fill up with sewage, and then we have to pump them from one lift station to another. Doing everything like from storm drains to sewage stuff and just super busy with that heavy rain that came in last week. PG&E said as of 1 p.m. Friday, 25,000 Bay Area customers still had no power. PG&E says along with the 3,000 field crews, other staff have been working to minimize outages throughout the grid. The outage you're looking at behind me started as 2,000 customers. We were able to do some switching on the electrical grid and get that down to 194 customers. PG&E says they also have called for mutual aid. We have have crews coming in from eight other states and one province. And that was Janet Katsuyama reporting for us tonight. Niles Camp